doing well today's video is going to be another testing tasty or buzzfeed food video i got a really good response on my last one so i figured i would go ahead and film another one of these so i hope you guys enjoy this one as well and if you haven't seen the first one i'll have it linked down below it's basically just like snack ideas and this one is going to have a more breakfast theme to it so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up so more people can find this video and if you're new here you can go ahead and subscribe down below or i'll have a button on the screen and don't forget to follow me on instagram because I love talking to you guys on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely follow me on my social media and let's go ahead and jump into the food items. For this first recipe, all you're gonna need is some bread, some eggs, and some fruit, and it is optional to use cream cheese. I personally don't like cream cheese, but looking back, I totally should've used like cookie butter or peanut butter or something, because that probably would've made it even better. But all you have to do is take your slice of bread and go ahead and cut the crust off and then flatten it. I use like brown bread or whatever bread I had, but it totally would work a lot better if you use like really soft, white, fresh bread. But anyways, I went ahead and flattened my bread and then you wanna take some fruit. I use some blueberries and some raspberries, but you can use strawberries if you want. And you're gonna roll that up. Of course, if you're using cream cheese, you would apply the cream cheese first and then add the fruit and then roll it up and that'll probably help it stick together. As you can see, it was a little bit more difficult for me, but I also think that had to do with the thickness of my bread. So like I said, white bread probably would have worked a little bit better, but yeah, once you have that done, go ahead and roll those up. Now taking this over to my frying pan, I went ahead and beat two eggs into a bowl and this is where the French toast part comes in. You can go ahead and take your roll up and just kind of smother it in the egg, roll it around, make sure it's good and coated and then place it on your frying pan. I did use a non-stick spray on my frying pan just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, go ahead and coat both of your rolls or however many you're doing. And once those are cooked on the one side, you wanna go ahead and flip them over and make sure you do cook all four sides just to make sure everything is good and crispy. That's why I like it personally. And then I just took some cinnamon and sugar and made a little bit of a dip type thing onto a plate and just swirled my rolls in there and then after that just for decoration and stuff I added a little bit of powdered sugar again just for the video to make it fancy and then I added some maple syrup because what is French toast without maple syrup and I was actually really pleasantly surprised they look kind of weird but they tasted amazing with the hot berries on the inside it was so good and if you like cream cheese then you're definitely gonna love this when it has cream cheese in it For the peanut butter jelly balls, the first thing you're going to want to do is take some jam. I personally don't have any jam in my fridge, so I took some grape jelly. And you want to go ahead and scoop that out onto some parchment paper. You just want to make little dollops and then put that in the freezer until they are firm. Once those have set, you can go ahead and take a scoop of some rolled oats and just go ahead and put that on a plate because we are going to be using that later on. But go ahead and put a cup of oats, a cup of peanut butter, and a half cup of powdered sugar. I will have all the original recipes linked down below so you guys can go and check for measurements. I believe I only did a half serving or a half portion of this because I didn't have too many jelly thingies and it actually worked out perfectly. I made just the right amount. So go ahead and mix in those three ingredients and then you're gonna wanna take the dough, which by the way, this is extreme sticky I don't know if I added like enough of the oats and stuff but the peanut butter was like really really messy but all you have to do is make a little circle and then go ahead and put the jelly on the inside or the jam on the inside and then close it up as a little ball again very sticky very messy but worth it in the end trust me and then go ahead and roll that into some rolled oats and just kind of coat it I kind of pressed them on as best as I could and then you can go ahead and do that for all of your little jelly inserts and then put them in the fridge and let them set and you can basically just eat them right out of the fridge once they have been in the fridge for a while they do harden and they are seriously so delicious if you pre make a bunch of these and just have them ready to go I think this is a really good easy fast breakfast For the 
final recipe, we are going to be making these frozen yogurt cups with fruit. I actually didn't see this on Tasty or BuzzFeed. It might have been on at some point, but I actually saw this on Pinterest originally, so that is where I got it. And so the first thing you're going to need to do is put some cupcake liners into a muffin tray, and then go ahead and take your favorite kind of yogurt and just pour two scoops into the muffin tin paper thingamajigs, and then go ahead and give that a good shake to level it out and make it all even and smooth. And then once that has been done, go ahead and put whatever type of fruit you want on top. I chose blueberries and raspberries again because that's what I had but you can totally use whatever kind of fruit you like and then once you have topped all of them go ahead and stick them in the freezer and then whenever you want to eat one just go ahead and take them out. It is a little bit difficult they do need to thaw a little bit but also not too much because then they'll be super super soft so just make sure you time it out right and you're kind of watching them so they don't melt too much but yeah these make a really good snack for the morning or even late at night. So that pretty well wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this in the future. And make sure you subscribe before you leave. And I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.